Hey guys, today I'm sharing Instagram tips for artists from my experience in going to over 50,000 followers in less than one year. In March 2020, I had just over 1,000 followers on Instagram, and in February 2021, I reached 50,000 followers. Now, in November 2021, I've got over 70,000 followers. Before March 2020, I used to post my art and hope for the best. No surprise, it didn't really work. It was only when I started being more clear about my goals with Instagram and being deliberate about my strategy that I finally started seeing results and it's still going strong. I wrote a little ebook earlier this year that goes more in depth about my experience and strategy with growing my Instagram. And if you watch till the end, you'll find a code to get 25% off. Listen, I know how hard it is to grow Instagram. I had the same struggles that many of you are having right now. It's not easy. Seriously, I know how it feels. Just over a year and a half ago, I was in your shoes. I was in the exact same space of desperately wanting to grow my Instagram and make money from my art. So trust me, if I can do it, so can you. Instagram is designed to reward people that are truly engaged and involved on the platform. So on that note, Let's jump right into my Instagram tips for artists. Tip number one, be active. Instagram is all about being active and consistent, but not in the sense that you should be posting on a strict schedule no matter what, like posting every day at 3 p.m. You don't need to post new content every day. In fact, you probably shouldn't. It's more about being consistently active in the community. So whether you post once or twice a week, or more or less, it doesn't matter that much. This is how I stay active on Instagram. Posting stories. Stories can be things like behind the scenes shots, works in progress, drawing time lapses, or things I'm doing throughout my day. It's the easiest one to keep up with. Posting to my feed. Quality over quantity is very important here and it's best not to stick to a schedule too much. Posting Reels A little note about Reels. While I'm by no means an expert and I'm still trying to figure it out for myself, I think it's absolutely worth it to make Reels as an artist. And in my limited experience so far, Reels tend to do better on average than regular posts. So if you haven't jumped into them yet, now is the time. Tip number two, engagement. Instagram is all about the community. Just throwing your work out there is not enough. You have to engage with other people and other artists. It is a social network after all, and engagement is equally, if not more important, than being active and posting consistently. This is how I engage. Firstly, you need to follow accounts that you enjoy, and then you need to support them. Like their posts, comment on their posts, share their posts, and spread the love in your stories. Secondly, You need to support and appreciate the people that already follow and support you. Reply to comments, reply to DMs, and share to your stories as much as you can. Tip number three, art challenges. This is one of the absolute best things about the Instagram art community, and you're really missing out on a lot if you don't participate. You can find challenges through the people you follow or through checking hashtags or accounts that share challenges. Then, do your best to draw a unique version of a Draw This In Your Style challenge or draw a unique interpretation of a prompt list. Now, share your work and be sure to use the relevant hashtag as well as tagging the host or hosts of the challenge. Finally, now that you've participated, it's time for the most important part. Support the challenge and the other participants. This is how I do it. I choose a challenge that I've recently participated in and I scroll through the hashtag. I like most of what I see, I comment on the ones I like, and I share the ones I love. You can also, of course, host challenges, which is an even better way to give your account a boost. But this is more challenging, unless you already have a bit of a following. Hosting an art challenge is a video in itself. So if you're interested in seeing how I go about designing a character for a Draw This In Your Style challenge, Please let me know in the comments. Tip number four, hashtags. 
Hashtags are Instagram's way of organizing and cataloging content, as well as to better understand the content inside the image or video. So it's important to use the correct hashtags and to use them in the right way. Recent recommendations are saying to use only three to five super relevant hashtags per post. And I'm still testing to see if this makes a difference to my previous strategy, which was more intensive hashtag research and using 20 to 30 hashtags per post. I explained this in depth in my ebook. At least for now, I really haven't been able to figure out if the amount of hashtags make a difference yet, but you'll be the first to know if and when I do. So sign up for my newsletter if you want to stay updated on any new findings. I've left a link in the description. Another quick tip for hashtags. When you're doing hashtag research and you've narrowed some down, click on a hashtag and see if your illustration will fit in with what you see there. If it does, you're on the right track. So yeah, those are my four biggest tips for artists on Instagram. Be active, engage, participate in art challenges, and use the correct hashtags. Not too long ago, I was just a newbie, admiring the superstar artists with tens of thousands of followers, thinking I could never reach that point. So it's hard work, but it can happen. I'm proof of that. Just a quick side note on that point, I just have to mention that followers do not equal work. So don't fixate too much. You can have a small amount of followers and get more work than somebody with a lot of followers. It depends more on the type of art you make and how savvy you are with self-marketing and the business side of things. Instagram is hard, but luckily for us, the art community is one of the best communities on Instagram. It's super active and super supportive. It's the absolute best niche to be in compared to other things. And even though it's a huge and saturated market, it's real and it's very engaging. And there's always room for someone new. In the end, there's no magic. It's not rocket science. It's very simple, but consistency and always striving to improve is the key. Thanks for watching. I hope these tips help you out. And if you're waiting for the discount code, it's YouTube25.